Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great small travel trailer value from Parkway RV Center. You know, springtime's not that far away folks and we've really stocked up on some small lightweight travel trailers because these things go like hotcakes when the weather starts warming up. So here's you a chance to get a jump because once spring starts these things are gone in a matter of a week or two and then they're hard to find for several months. But today we're going to look at a 2014 Skyline Skycat. Uh, of course, this Skyline is one of the older brands out there. I think this is a 61st anniversary edition. Um, not as big, of course, as, as Keystone or, or Forest River, but still, uh, the Nomads and the Skylines have been around a long time. And the Skycat's a little 183B. It's a 20 feet, 20 feet. Uh, I believe 8 inch long camper that's including the tongue so lightweight little camper it only weighs 2615 pounds so and I, I've got a pop up out here guys for sale that weighs more than this camper right here does it's fully self contained 30 amp electrical service got air heat got everything you need just a basic little camper guys you know for your first one do you want something small you want something easy to use here you go a uh, single axle turns very easily tires look great you know to be a six-year-old camper it's in pretty it's in good shape like I said 30 amp service I've got it plugged into power right now I've got the spare tire on the back bumpers stabilizer hit uh, stabilizer jacks it's got an awning water heater guys it's basically you know if you just want something easy to use and uh, for a couple of people to get out and enjoy this is all you need right here you don't have to have a big vehicle to tow it at 2615 pounds under 21 feet long 61 years in business is this industry is pretty good bragging rights let's look inside now guys it's had a couple of modifications to the inside which is nothing really that uncommon with small trailers uh, since you have such limited space to begin with whatever you can do to gain a little bit helps so let's look inside uh, I like first of all I like the floor in here it's all uh, linoleum no carpet easy to clean got a stationary Queen Island bed which I think a stationary bed is very important in any RV you buy um, because I've been that way, folks. And nothing's more aggravating than having to set your bed up and down every time you want to use it. This way, you've always got a bed. It's stationary. you got a privacy curtain. And um, just makes it so much easier than making a, a table booth or a sofa up and down every single day. But you got the Queen Island bed. Got some overhead storage. No smoke or pad odors. Now, this, uh, of course, you notice the TV going right there. It originally had the TV up against this wall. That's the way it was set from the factory. But the previous owners, I don't know if this right here actually does make more sense because it's on a swivel mount so you can see it from the table or the TV. So that kind of eliminates the need for two TVs in one. Plus that allows you to put a little bit bigger TV and that is a smart TV too. Uh, it does have the crankless antenna so it's not like the, the other other type of antennas you got to crank up and then remember to crank down before you tow your camper off or you'll snag a limb or a power line you got a hole in your roof where your antenna used to be this is a permanently fixed antenna omnidirectional and they did move the TV but now to get the hookups they had to run the um, cable through the curtain tracks which hey may not be the prettiest thing in the world but it works and it looks like they took that fixed table booth that was in here, which was pretty much useless. And they put a table and chairs. Now this right here, it may not be factory, but I like this better because, see, I'm a bigger guy. And somebody buying this might be a bigger person too. That little booth, the bed was useless. It's, it was a single bed, slept one person, and you, were in your, and you couldn't move your chairs. Your, your booth seats were fixed plus it came out into the hallway a little bit so this right here is a smaller table but you've got chairs you can move to any position and you can always take that out if you want to put a big easy recliner right there or whatever you want to put right there 
but I do like the chairs uh, table and chairs a lot better than what originally would have been in here and um, other than that everything's factory um, I just want to point that out the TV's been moved and that right there but you know you're only talking 21 feet long uh, and actually less than that because the actual box size is about 18 feet so you've only got 18 by 7 that's not much square footage to work with guys 18 by 7 that's uh, what is that uh, 70 by heck I can't think folks probably about 100 square feet or so or maybe a little more not much space to work with but not bad you know it's basically everything you need you've got a furnace you've got a stove top you've got a microwave you've got an air conditioner you've got a refrigerator with a small freezer in it i like this right here guys to me in a small camper this right here makes so much more sense in a roof mounted ac because you're not talking a huge area right here this right here will cool it off just as fast as a rooftop ac it will draw less amperage so if you're boondock camping you don't have to carry a big 4,000 watt generator. You can get, like I use for some of my videos, a little 2,000 watt inverter generator that's extremely quiet, and it will pull this air conditioner. You know, most RVs with a rooftop air, you gotta have three to 4,000 watts in one of those loud generators, those loud commercial ones, or one of those expensive Hondas or Yamahas, but not with this one. We got a propane electric refrigerator run off either one and got a decent sized rear bathroom for this size camper got a tub shower vent big closet here in the back and you know like i said this isn't anything fancy it doesn't have ceramic tile floor doesn't have corian countertops you know doesn't have uh, heated massaging chairs in here or none of that nonsense but you know, for those of y'all who are just wanting something simple, easy to use, first time RV, or maybe you just want something simple, here you go. Everything one or two people need right here. Just for to go out camping. Um, and it's smoke free, pet free, it doesn't have any bad odors in here, nothing to worry about. It's $89.95. And of course, for that $89.95 price, it's going to go we're going to do a full inspection on it we've got a four page inspection process that we're going to go through on it make sure everything works i'll put a link below in the video description to that inspection process so for 89.95 we will check it out for you make sure everything works on it of course i've pretty much done that now uh just besides waiting for the refrigerator to get cold which i'm sure it will um but you know we'll make sure it's good for you guys you know um, uh, if we find something wrong with it which I doubt we will but if we do we'll fix it of course no additional charge to you and all that's included for the $89.95 price of course it doesn't cover cosmetic stuff there's a dent, a ding a scratch a stain that's part of buying used look at what it costs new look what it costs now for the significant savings you're getting it, it's it'll pay for a whole lot of cosmetics and then some and actually this one's not bad at all it's a little dirty on the outside but um this one is actually pretty decent and we also deliver you know if you need it delivered we can help you out with that 2600 pounds guys i can tow this with you know really honestly 2600 pounds this shouldn't be an issue if you've got any kind of a tow vehicle with with a trailer hitch on it i mean small suvs mid-size suvs small trucks uh you know you, you got it right here boom like i said it's pop-up weight with the convenience of a fully set up camper you know think about pop-ups i mean you're gonna you're gonna drive all day to set it up uh, to t go to where you're going you want to lay down rest you got to spend the next 45 minutes setting it up and uh, this right here you just unhook it from your vehicle plug it in plug your water up sewer if you got it you're done i mean literally a 10 minute setup put your stabilizer jacks down and go if you got any questions folks this unit is 89.95 if you got any questions give us a call 706-965-7929 extended warranties are available at an affordable price if you want to look into that ask your salesperson 
Uh, also included for the eighty nine ninety five. dollars uh, after this unit goes through service, which is done after purchase. We clean it up inside and out. We do a final walkthrough. If we're happy with everything, we'll call you to set up a time to pick up your new-to-you Skycat. Once you arrive here at the appointed time, tech checks it out, or my walkthrough expert, Preston, is going to go through this camper with you, show you how to operate everything, uh, show you that those systems work, answer any questions you have, and show you any repairs that had to be made, and help you hook it to your vehicle, too. If you, if you need to know what kind of safety equipment you need to have to tow this RV, give us a call. One of my salespeople will make a, a professional recommendation. Tell them what kind of vehicle you're towing with and how much it's rated to tow. If you don't know what your vehicle can tow, I got you covered on that too. Look in the video description below on this YouTube ad. There will be a link to our free interactive tow guide. and You can put your vehicle information in and see what you can tow. And You can even push a button that says, show me RVs I can tow. And it will show you everything in my huge website that I have in my inventory that you can tow with your vehicle. Keep in mind, I got 150 plus used RVs in stock and more arriving every day. I mean, we're buying these things like crazy and we're selling them like crazy. You know, we just because it's wintertime, guys, don't mean uh, business slows down for us. You know, we have our own little niche and that we, we're the one of the largest used RV dealerships in the United States. And uh, we go with that because, you know, who wants to go out and spend 17 to 20 grand for a camper like this brand new? And, and guys, when you buy a brand new camper, you're paying a lot more than just the price. Keep in mind, you buy these little campers new, they advertise the price. You're not going to walk out of there buying that camper for that price. You know, they're going to say... All right, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, there's a $800 dock fee, a $1,000 prep fee, uh, $800 happy camper fee, and, and you know, before you know it, that price jumps up three or four grand. Then they're going to tell you, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, to sell this camper for you for this advertised price, you have to go through our finance department. Well, here's the thing, guys. Dealers don't do nothing for free. If you go through a big dealer or a corporate dealer's finance department, here's what they're doing. They're dealing directly with the bank, not you. And they're getting you approved, and they'll tell you a rate, and that rate is not what the bank's telling them. It's higher. In other words, they're marking the interest rate up half percent, a percent, a percent and a half or more. And the bank lets them keep most of that money they make extra on the financing. And then they're also going to try to upsell you on all these different products that you just have to have. Uh, um, sometimes resulting in thousands and thousands of dollars. And, and you know added to the price and added to your loan in other words guys that's how you go in on a fifteen thousand dollar camper and leave owing twenty five thousand dollars on that camper that was priced for fifteen grand so the price you see online at these other rv dealers is not the total price by no means and you, you figure in the interest rate they're charging you and they're marking that interest rate up which can add to thousands of dollars to your overall cost of ownership over the life of an RV loan that you didn't have to pay. Um, not to mention all those products, which most of them you can buy yourself for a fraction of the cost after you buy the camper. And, um, you know, guys, that's just, I see it every day. I get people in here every day. I want to trade this camper in. I bought it at Rip Off World two years ago, three years ago. Uh, it was priced for X amount of dollars. They call the bank, it's payoff. Three years later, they still owe more than what they paid for the camper three years ago after paying on it. And, uh, of course, it's used. It's worth half what it was new. But they still owe more than a new price on it on a used camper that's worth half. That situation, nothing you can do. Enjoy your camper because you're stuck with it for the next few years. Um, and, guys, I mean, we'll do everything we can to help everybody out that we possibly can, obviously. It's in our best interest business-wise, but, you know, there are going to be situations where people have bought from these big corporate dealers that, you know, you're, you're, you're stuck to it till you get the payoff down. So, I will give you a little tip. If you're in that situation and you bought a new camper and you fell for all that stuff that they pulled on you, you owe way more than it's worth. Here's some things you can do to save you some money. Uh, look at your paperwork if you bought extended warranties gap insurance uh, interior protection packages whatever else they tried to sell you 
a lot of that stuff you can cancel and cash out and they'll prorate you the difference and get you some money look at your interest rate how much you owe and your terms google rv financing and look online and go to and go don't go to the brokers because they do the same thing the dealers do they mark the rate up find some banks that you can go directly to call them or email them tell them your situation what you owe what you own try to refinance your rv chances are you're going to get it for a much lower rate and get it paid off quicker now i don't um i wouldn't extend the terms because the whole ob the whole pro objective is to get it paid off or paid down as quick as possible but you'd be surprised sometimes how much you can save by doing all that because the banks like i said the banks have their rate and the dealers mark it up and charge you the dealer's rate which is almost always at least a percent or two percent higher than what you got approved for so that's just a little helpful tip um you know it's up to you whether you do it and i know it's a little bit of leg work but hey you know money doesn't grow on trees if you can save some money save you a few hundred dollars a few thousand dollars it's worth it guys i mean that's money that you don't have to pay if you don't want to and also guys if you're a uh, military ex or current military of course thank you for your service but you've got some amazing and I, i'm not endorsing these banks because i don't get paid to endorse these banks i'm just giving you a helpful helpful uh tip from one rv or to another check with usaa or navy federal credit union two great sources for rv financing i've had customers call usaa apply over the phone or apply online and they overnight them a check that same day and they've got it in their hand the next morning to buy an rv with it's that easy and of course you're welcome to go through our lenders as well or go through your own 89.95 camper guys it's something you can go down to your local bank or credit union and get a short-term low interest rate loan and still have a very affordable payment um, i did one last week uh, of course we can get you a little bit longer terms I, we did one last week for a good friend of mine and they financed uh, i think sixty six hundred dollars i got a hundred nine dollar a month camper payment i mean you, you just can't do it any less than that so um but anyway guys of course all financing with approved credit and down payment um if you got any of this give us a call 706-965-7929 we'll come look at this little camper please call to make sure it's available well you got salesperson on the phone they'll answer any questions you have and also tell you what the current lead time is for a travel trailer checkout which honestly we can get this thing done very very quickly um that's why i like about these little campers there's nothing complicated there's nothing that that we don't have the parts expertise to fix here on this camper besides maybe if it was a fridge part or something like that we have to order model specific but air conditioner's bad or goes bad that's good like good thing i like about these you can just hit a walmart and um a couple hundred bucks about 30 minutes labor you got it in now if you have a rooftop unit it goes bad fourteen fifteen hundred dollars and a couple of days in an rv dealership when they can fit it in to do it so guys, come out and take a look at this little camper. Thank you for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.